Hi guys, so before we get into the topic of today's video, I did briefly mention the tragedy, the absolute diabolicalness that is going on in Ukraine right now. So, um, I've been trying to find like charities and all of that that um, like reputable, which, which can be quite hard to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, Red Cross is looking out for donations in terms of like money and um, loads of other different things like clothing and all of that. So you just have to go and look on their website. I'll leave it linked down below because I know at this kind of time it's really just like, ah, like where do I go to? Because everyone's trying to pull you in different directions. Schools at the minute are also doing lots in terms of being like drop off points to give like nappies and lot, lots and lots and lots of different things which we've been doing. So yeah, um, I just thought I would say that at the very, very beginning because it's been a bit of a minefield at the minute trying to work out who and where to give things. So yeah, let us just get on with the video. Very impromptu video, very impromptu video. I haven't even taken my jacket off. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I literally only said hello. I'm actually like halfway eating my um, cereal. This is like something I have every single morning. It's yogurt and granola with bits of cranberries in it. The very first video I ever did on the Sukoni Jolies, like it blew up um and it is it was a few days it was i think it was over a week ago and it was about um how they are exploiting um eduardo this isn't about her wanting to transition this isn't about her wanting to be a girl this isn't about anything to do with that it's literally to do with all of this information being put online and some literally almost calling me transphobic which i heavily disagree with but you're entitled to your own opinion i state pretty clearly at the very beginning of the video that literally within the very first five minutes well, um the issue that i have with this isn't the fact that she is wanting to go down this path it isn't the issue with transitioning it's not an issue with the lgbtq plus community nothing to do with that it's to do with the fact that this shouldn't be made a video for a seven-year-old online thing isn't necessary to be online so i'm not then going to talk about that element even further because that is none of my business but what is my business is the fact that all of this shouldn't be put online for a seven-year-old anyway that was extremely long the second video i ever did was about their members only because i was actually intrigued and then i genuinely thought that that would be it because i was like right okay i've said it they're not going to upload anymore they're not going to milk this for all it's worth they're definitely not going to make two videos in a row about the situation and they have they literally have made two videos in a row so this is like and there's going to be a fourth as well, but we're going to get into that. I'm just going to like catch you guys up to speed on what exactly is going on with this family. And I've had so many really like amazing comments from people basically saying like, like even people that were fans up to really a couple months ago. And I haven't been a fan of theirs for a couple of years, but the people, some people just honestly, you can go through my comments of those videos. People just being like, I was a fan, but this is ridiculous. You go onto their, onto their YouTube comments and they've now stopped going through them but they you know people aren't happy about it there's not enough people talking about the situation and yes it's it is kind of my business because it's on youtube to have a father literally or and a mother you know monetizing off of this like this is this is this is now their shtick their shtick is the fact that they have a transgender child that is it this is this is their niche like which is absolutely insane i thought this would be it i thought this would be like right okay we're gonna find something else to do because they did take a break they, they they said that they wouldn't be focusing so much on their children i have got evidence of that kids out there publicly on youtube mm. when your kids are too young to make a well, decision that's what we don't do youtube themselves. anymore yeah you know it's been a year now since we left youtube we have consistently said that we will stop making the show when the children get a bit older and now they've now come back and they've done the complete opposite of that they've just literally rebranded themselves as as Eduardo's journey. The very first thing was straight after the video, the um, I'm non-binary and I have a transgender, transgender daughter video came out. Um, uh, there were quite a few comments saying that, oh, you should, um, Anna should do a video. And Anna did do a video. People have questioned why I haven't made an announcement. And I'm not gonna pick apart the comments, like her her answers too much, because I feel like some of them are very personal to do with Eduardo, if you, if you see what I mean. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to highlight some things that I found interesting. A confusion on labels with the questions from their fans. And this, this then brings me back to the point of they're either really uneducated, like I'm not saying I'm very educated, but I would never ask some of these questions. Um, all very young one of two 
there was a lot of confusion on labels like non-binary does that mean that they like men now which is ridiculous there's like stuff like that like quite immature like immature things that it would only take you a google search anyway don't ask someone those questions i just think I don't, whatever for one there was a lot of like confusion over labels and immaturity i think and i'm not the only one who says that quite like other channels radiant brick covered it dad challenge podcast covered it there was a lot of like immature comments the way the camera is set up is so um i know it's probably not like this but it almost feels as if jonathan is literally standing like over her because she is quite literally like it would be like me doing a video and i'm like all the way over here if you watch the video, it's not done in the best quality. And I'm not saying mine's amazing quality, but it's not done in their usual quality. And it's very like, you know, like how documentaries are made so that they try and they're trying to relay an emotion with the audience. Documentaries are made so that um, they're trying to uh, get you to feel a certain way, to agree with a certain side. Good documentaries don't necessarily do that, but quite a lot do. So you end up... Uh, you know, you end up feeling for people, you end up, you know, that's what they do. That's almost what it feels like Jonathan was trying to do. She made this one comment, she answered this one question. Online you have to know that there's a lot more different opinions out there. There are people that you wouldn't necessarily have in your friend group watching, um, or in your town, or in your country, like there's just so many differences. The thing is, is that if you wouldn't talk to these people in person, if those people were not in your friendship group, if you wouldn't ever have these kind of opinions with someone or had this discussion with someone, why are you putting it on the internet? Like, I'm fully aware that this video and every other video I've ever done is going to be perceived by people who maybe don't agree or who maybe um, have different opinions, who I probably wouldn't talk to in real life. Do you know what I mean? I'm fully aware that this video could be getting across to people who I may not have a lot in common with. That's just the way the internet works. But the thing is, is that you're putting across such a personal thing. That right next to you right there, you're telling me that you wouldn't tell them everything that you've been showing on video. That you wouldn't necessarily talk to, but maybe I'm looking too far into it, but you're you're creating these videos. You created three videos, nearly four videos of, in a row about this. And you wouldn't, you think of it as if you wouldn't tell people who were sat right there. I think I'm confusing it too much, but I just found that comment a bit strange and maybe it's just like my anxious way of trying to piece things together because I'm quite anxiety driven maybe that's just me thinking too much into it but I just found that answer quite strange because you literally are sharing this really personal information with people that you don't know but then again you then just said that actually you wouldn't share it you wouldn't talk to these people anyway. Oh, it's what you said on Instagram the other day, just being like, didn't open our eyes to how much transphobia exists. And it's like, I don't deny that transphobia does not exist. That's not what I'm saying. I think it very much exists. But are you talking about the all of the negative comments? Or are you just talking about the transphobic comments? Because I've seen them, they definitely do exist and I don't agree with it. But but if he's just talking about the comments that are saying this shouldn't be online, I don't think that is transphobic. That's kind of what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. I'm saying it shouldn't be online. That doesn't make me a transphobic. Doesn't make anyone, anyone who's saying this, it shouldn't be online, it does not make them a transphobic. It just doesn't. It means that we don't agree with having this much of someone's private personal life made into like a trilogy. Literally, it's a three-part series at this point. Also, the way it was titled as well. The way it was titled was just so, like, you're just trying to ca cash in on that tagline, which you can see that they're just trying to do at this point. The third video was saying goodbye to her old name. What? Like, what? Do that in private. Do that in private. Why are you doing that online? It almost feels stupid me even saying this. So I need to say this. Do that offline you don't need to I have people on my comments i'll try and flag up a comment if i can find it but i have people in my comments going but you know how are they supposed to handle it this is how you don't handle the situation making a trilogy making a three-part bloody docu-series on this you tell are you gonna like you know is anyone out there gonna sit there and tell me that 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 this is a dignified way of handling it because it's not it's just not, and if I sound irate, it's because I am. I just feel so bad for for the kids in this in this 
circumstance it makes me upset you know how bullying and nasty kids can be in secondary school in primary school, i know that so why would you want to put your kids in the firing line for this so at this point they're saying goodbye to the old name and once again i don't really want to show too many like shots because so many of the shots are so close up and personal i can practically see up her nose like they're so personal personal they're talking at like such a you can you can see my spots like they're sitting so close you just need a bit of distance well what what why can't you just set up the if you're going to do it which you shouldn't why can't you just set up the camera somewhere so you're not literally like this Icky. this video gives me the ick it gives me the ick not because of what they're doing not because of what they're doing so don't twist it and say oh it gives you the ick because you're transphobic it gives you the ick because you don't like it it's not to do with that. It gives me the ick because this is a really personal, beautiful thing that is being like shown to other people. These kind of things make people feel a certain way because they shouldn't be shown online. This is the reason why people react like this. It's because it shouldn't be shown online. Because I, I don't, I, I shouldn't know this. It's very weird. Anna's not even there which loads of people pointed out. Anna's not even there, she's in bed drinking hot chocolate apparently. Where is she on this really moment, mon monumental occasion? In her, you know, I understand, she's probably like grieving, you know, she's probably quite upset, but this whole three part trilogy, apart from Anna answering questions, which literally felt like a hostage tape, I'm not gonna lie, um, it's literally just been Jonathan, just Jonathan doing it alone. They didn't have any like friends and family around of what we could see. It's all very like, you know, I, I don't want to get into so much into all the questions that Eduardo was answering because it's, I don't, I don't want this to become, I don't, I don't want to give away that information. I don't want them to give away that information. Less extent, I don't want to, I don't want to give that information about a child that I don't even know. Jonathan was like, once again, getting extremely excited about this. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. It's just like the very first video that we saw that I commented on, getting extremely excited about this whole situation. And then it was just, and Anna wasn't there. It was all, yeah, it was all really, really odd. Very close up personal camera angles. I don't even know what more I can say about it, to be honest. I just want it to, <laughs> I just thought that it would stop after the very first video and it hasn't. It's just continued going on. Four part, by the time this video is out, Jonathan's probably already put out that video. They're now doing a name reveal video. So they've done a reveal on the fact that she wants to be a girl and Jonathan's non-binary. They've done a answering questions, Anna answering questions about this. They've then done a saying goodbye to her old name. And now they're doing a name reveal. What the hell? Can if you don't see a problem with that we can't be friends i'm sorry we can't be friends that's in a full but it's a full what, what, what do you call that for this little section we're gonna look through here we go <clears throat> detective amy's back hi if you don't know detective amy she made an appearance in the um, last video that I did. Oh my gosh, these are really disgusting. Right, okay, Detective Amy. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? Okay, Detective Amy is on the prowl. And I'm just gonna share with you some, oh yeah, and also he invested in like a load of flags as well. So I'm now gonna take you through their Instagram. Because I have no life. Someone also commented that as well, that I must be really, really bored. And then someone else commented that I obviously don't have any kids. They obviously didn't even watch the first five minutes of this video. Why the hell would I be so invested in this conversation if I didn't have any children? Like, well, actually, to be fair, you could still be really invested, but I don't think you'd be this, this level of pettiness. I had this in a more time so the icon comes up. So Jonathan was answering questions, or not answering questions, but someone commented and said, sorry, a subscriber, oh my God, why am I such an idiot? I literally have half the icon. Nah. Basically, you're putting in so much effort for this, which is amazing. Do you ever worry she may change her mind when she's older and revert back to being Eduardo? I'm assuming you will support any decision she will make. And do you know what? Do you know what he said? He said, if she ever wants to change back to boy, she can. I can't see that happening, but who knows? It's her choice and she can change her name weekly for all I care too. It's a lot of admin though. 
It's a lot of admin though. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say to that comment. If she wants it, well, what? What? So you're just gonna do a flip flop every every couple of weeks? Just like, oh, back to being a girl now, back to being a boy. I bet you're salivating over how much money that's gonna make you, aren't you? It's the cake reveal. Basically, they're gonna be doing a full part to this never ending. I don't know what you call it at that point. It's basically just a series, isn't it? What is after trilogy? Someone please tell me. Just more pictures based on her party. So. Her name as of right now is still Eduardo, so that's the reason why I've used the word Eduardo, but when this video comes, uh, when the next video comes out, obviously that may not be her name anymore. They're getting a cake delivered. Oh, there's a book. Forgot to tell you guys, there might be a book reveal. Remember how well the very first book did? Well, you might make number two. Please tell me you're going to bring out a second book about your, sto about your story. I am working on something right now, actually, that might be of interest to anyone who wanted to know what happened next. No one wants to know what happened next. No one cares. People might have cared if you hadn't have been such an exploitative beep, like double beep, people might have actually cared. Okay, so this is on their, I think this was on like their, um, yeah, I think it was. I think this was on their um, saying goodbye to the name video. I honestly don't know how this is legal. The lack of protection for children online blows my mind, poor kids. I absolutely love your family, always have, always will. I just hope she is okay with the world knowing about this personal discovery at such a young age, at such a young and tender age. Anyways, I love you guys and just want the best for your sweet babies too. Mm -hmm. My son is the same age and can pull a full Trisha Paytas with his identity. <laughs> I don't think that. Can't say it's a good idea to be sharing this with the world. Let Eduardo figure out what's going on in her mind in private. I've always been a big supporter of you guys, but this feels too personal to be sharing to the world. Basically, people aren't very happy. I'm not very happy. I don't even think I'd even... Oh my God, that's so funny. This is, this is my three part. This is my three part series to this. I didn't even think I'd even make it. I just said the word series and series started um, trying to talk to me. Basically, I didn't think, sorry. I didn't think that I would even get to this. Um, I didn't think I would ever make a third video about this. But here I am making a third video about it. So maybe I'm just as bad as them. Maybe I am just as bad as them and I could go be doing other things with my life. Maybe I'm really, really bored. Who knows? So this has been an extremely like rambly video and I do apologize, but I feel like I needed to follow it up, which is probably the way that he felt as well. But I felt like I needed to follow it up because I did make, yeah, that video did have quite a big impact at least for my little channel when I felt like it needed a follow up because my last video was about their membership, which by the way, they still haven't uploaded onto. So I just thought that I needed to like, um, wrap up what has been going on because not enough people are talking about this, which is really upsetting actually. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I do make, <laughs> I do make lifestyle content. It's just that this video was a bit unplanned because I didn't, to see it happening um yeah but i yeah make lifestyle and i try and do like one commentary style video a week it's a quite a recent thing it's like a let's discuss thing so i hope you really enjoyed it and i will catch up with you guys in the next video um which should be a flitting back to lifestyle might do a bit of cleaning and all that kind of stuff but i'm still following these guys um very 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 closely so yeah have a wonderful day please 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 keep safe in this weather i can't stress it enough and yeah have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care.